Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. Today I'm just going to do a little flip through of this very chunky December daily. Uh, if you have followed some of my videos um, in December, I showed the making of this, this cover with a napkin and uh, decorating the front. I did add this heart here with the little uh, baby Jesus in it. This was not originally on there. This was sent to me by Carol Vargas and I put some uh, stickles around to make it a little bit glittery because this is the sparkly Christmas. That was the theme of the journal, although <clears throat> even though I was using the the Santa Baby collection and I wanted everything to be sparkly and pastel you know that doesn't work because a lot of Christmas a lot of stuff I get at Christmas is not sparkly and it's not pastel so I just love to fill my journals with whatever I don't stress about it now the one thing before I flip through this the one thing that I did learn this year is I allow myself way too much stuff to use I have a big one of those bins that holds 12 by 12 papers those plastic bins I have one of those full I have a five drawer little uh, sterilite unit with drawers I've got a shoe box and then two big tins and then a big package of stickers and that is just way too much stuff to have to go through every day to decorate your journal I get overwhelmed and this is the seventh year I've done it. I think I should have learned by now, but next year I am definitely going to limit the things that I can put, uh, use for my journal. I'm really going to bare bones it and um, not include so much of my own stuff. But anyway, you know, that's totally up to you. Your whole craft room, if you want to use everything in your craft room, have at it. I just found that having to put it all away every day and and just dig through everything I was missing stuff and it just got too much so anyway on with the flip through this is how big it is I do have some doodads sticking out I know more of a lot of you have way more than this but um, this is just the way it is um, this Christmas um, I've alluded to it before you know we've had something going on in my family so in all honesty I was not 100% into doing this. Um, I enjoyed doing it, but like other years where I just go to town and, you know, the whole side would be full, it just it just didn't happen. But that's okay. I mean, that's just the way it is. So the first couple pages, if you've seen the um, December Daily Inspiration YouTube hop, I'll put the link below. You've already seen the first three pages. But here I have a vintage card with these three beautiful little angels and then I just tuck this card behind it it is so cute and the envelope is there it's an unused card but I just thought it was cute so I put it there and then the first uh, <clears throat> page here is a picture of a nativities from a 1970s book I love the graphics of this and I wanted to remember you know the reason uh, why we celebrate Christmas to begin with is the birth of Jesus so that's the first thing in my journal <clears throat> and then I'm just going to show you some pages here this is just a magazine layout I thought was really cute I'm not going to go into detail here I thought this was really pretty oh, sorry for the glare there we go the Christmas tree with the silver ornaments and this is just a piece of vellum here this is my wish list right here now, I didn't get some of these things. As a matter of fact, I didn't get a lot of these things. I did get my Instant Pot, and I did get um, my Mandolin Slicer, but these other things I did not get, so I'm going to probably buy those myself. And then here's this page with... This is a uh, tuck spot from a friend. Uh, or this this card, sorry, this this is a card that uh, one of my subbies sent me, and then this is a card from the Tinsel Down show that I did, and just uh, some pockets here with some tags. This one came from Ardella, cute cute tag, 
And this is some of Susan Heil's lovely um, watercolor artwork. And if you go to Susan Heil's art, she has videos on making these. I still have to make the the um, wreath or some of these. I haven't done any of these. I have to hold this up over here. And this is just a little journaling card. It's just a note memo that I put this little trim around. And here's just a vintage card. Here's a tag from one of my subscribers right, who lives fairly, uh, probably within an hour of me. And this is just a page from an old ideals magazine. There's the back. I just put some ephemera on it. This came from, I think this was from Jean Homeschool Mama 4. And then this is just a uh, embroidery uh, pattern book. And that was just a page of it. And I made it into a, a tuck spot. And I put some things in. Every day I did write a little bit about what I did. Um, and this is just, I'm taking a James Luke Burke uh, online class. And so those were what I had done up to that point. And here's a, here's a little pocket from one of my subscribers. And it's got some tags in it. I added that one uh, to it. And her pocket is made out of an envelope. So cute. I love this paper with the little sloths. And then here is, I made a flip out, and there's my journaling for the day in there. And there's a tag here, and that came from one of my subbies. And then this page, I just thought that this paper was really cute. This is actually the kind of paper that you stick in a computer to type your own Christmas letter. So I put it down there, and then I took a, made a belly band, I took another piece and folded it over like that and just put some stickers on it. And then I put stickles on the snowballs and on some of the Christmas tree to make it kind of blingy. And then here is another tag. This is a flip up tag, again, from one of my subbies. This is just a little thing. Jingle jangle. If y'all know Trader Joe's. <laughs> They have this stuff that they only sell at Christmas called Jingle Jangle, and it is the most decadent treat that there is. And they only get like a certain supply, and once it's gone, it's gone. So we give it as gifts and stuff, but my family loves it. So we bought eight cans of it as soon as it came out because we knew it, it was going to go away. So yeah, I put eight cans because last year we didn't get enough, and we were so disappointed. Okay, and here's some more Susan Hiles art. This was so cute. This was just a magazine picture of this tangled lights, and I put the boys put the lights up outside. The boys be, meaning my husband and my son. And this so much reminds me of Christmas Vacation um, when he's putting the lights on the house. And then here's some more um, lessons from the James Burke class that I'm taking on doing uh, Christmas trees. Some more of Susan's art here, and I've got a tag tucked in here. That was from a, the tag was from a subby, and then here's just some little journaling here. This is a little letter from a, <clears throat> a girl, the little girl that I gave the shakers to, the shaker pocket and stickers to, made me a little thank you card. Then I used this on the back. This is actually a vintage card, and there you can see it's sparkly. It's got um, glitter on it, and so here we go here. And then this day was a Friday, and I had gone to the auction, and I just bought some really cool uh, ephemera um, at the auction. But um, the reason I bought it was not to keep it. I mean, I put two pieces in here, but it is to sell. It is not to keep because I was on a no-buy uh, mission, so I couldn't buy it for me. But I was able to buy to sell because um, I make ephemera packages. And then on this day here, I wrap presents. And I believe this is from Susan Tootsie Tucker. She made this, and it's so cute, this little guy here. And I think this is from Judy. I think Judy gave me that. And then here's another pocket I made. And I just, there's some tags in here. And I put the word joy on here. It's actually a bag. I made the pocket in the front, and then 
this here. This was a Sunday, I believe, so this was another Advent reading right there. I think I mentioned in one of my videos that my pastor asked me to write all four of the Advent readings this year, so I did. So I printed off copies of each <clears throat> and put them in on the Sundays. And um, this is the day my mom and I went to the a dollhouse exhibit we go to every year at Kenmore, which is George Washington's sister's home uh, up in Fredericksburg. And we always go to see the dollhouses together, and then we eat lunch at this little restaurant. And then these are just some really cute graphics that I got out. This is from my friend Melody here. Melody, it's the 17th, and here you go. This little pocket, and the 17 was gifted to me. This is, came from a vintage um, Carol book, but it was just on the bottom. I thought it was such a cute little scene. And then here, oh, my husband and I went on the Holly Jolly Trolley, which takes you around uh, Fredericksburg in the trolley, and you get to see all the Christmas lights. And then here's the 19th, and here's the 20th. I love this graphic right here. And then here's the 21st, and this was made, this was given to me by D. Webster, this beautiful card. And then this was given to me by Rosa um, from Sun and Moon Arts. She made me a couple things. A lot of my subbies did because of my challenge. And I want to say, everybody has at least one thing in here a lot of you sent me more than one thing but at least one thing i believe of everyone's work is in here if you do not see it it might be because it's tucked into an envelope but if i go into everything this video would be way too long this is just a little vintage card i have i had a, a whole box of these so i think for like the last seven years one of these cards has been in my december dailies because i just think it's so adorable and I don't think I wrote anything in there. No, I left that one plain. And then here's a little side tuck here with some journaling on it. And I don't even remember what I did. Oh, okay, here's week four of my Advent reading stuck in there. And I love this white pom-pom trim. That's so cute. And then here's the 23rd. My sister and I went to Ferry Farm, which is George Washington's home up in Fredericksburg. And we saw the gingerbread exhibit, and that was really cute. And then here's, the, of course, Christmas Eve. And we've got another one of these pictures from the 1970s nativ nativity book. Look at these animals over here. Oh my gosh, look at this donkey. And this little cow, so cute. And the baby Jesus, oh, it's just adorable. And so this is also on the 24th. And then I have here, and then I have this Oh Come All You Faithful. That's just the sheet music, but I love the back. Look at the graphic on the back. Is these cute people caroling. And then here, I have to turn this this way, is this postcard that the uh, young man... I think he's either in his late teens or early 20s who has autism, made uh, this painting, and this is a postcard made from his painting of the snowman nativity, and this young man has autism. And these, instead of sheep, are little Maltese dogs, because someone had commissioned him to do that who had Maltese dogs. So that was so cute. And then here's Christmas Day. And I've got this cute little envelope one of my subbies made me. And I have the cards journaled in there. And I love on Christmas Day, these are some cards I got right here. from This one from my parents. This is from my, my son's girlfriend. And this one was from my husband. Um, but on Christmas, I always put a people list of what people got me that year. And so for the last seven years, I have a list of what I got for Christmas, which I think is really cool. And then my husband bought me some stamps from the uh, from Tuesday morning, some Christmas stamps. And so he put them in my stocking. So I got actually got some of these things um, that you all were hauling. I got some cute stamps, and he bought me some cute stickers. Oops, uh-oh. Sorry about that. That's just a piece of vellum. And then here's the 26th. This is the day after Christmas. This is Boxing Day for my family. This is actually when my entire family gets together. Basically, we just talk, 
eat and play games. We have so much fun. Um, and so that was from Boxing Day. And I just put these things on because they're pretty over here. And then over here is the 27th. Uh, my sister, oh, here. This is the 27th, just this little card here. Um, oh, I had to work that day, so there wasn't a whole lot going on. But then the 28th, my sister and I hit some of the sales after Christmas, which was really fun. And here's the 29th. And um, that was a church day. And then here's the 30th. This card here is from uh, Patricia Stubbs. And this little cute shaker pocket here is from Rhonda Coleman. And then this pretty little tag here is from Donna Ward. And um, so they all go in here. And I just thought this was really pretty. This was out of a Martha Stewart magazine, Christmas magazine, but I thought those were pretty. And then here's the 31st. And this is from my friend Stephanie Radican. And that beautiful tag is in there. And then I wrote about what I did on the 31st. I did get myself a Clever Fox Planner, which I'll probably do a video on that when I get into a little, little bit more. And my husband's son and I went to see the new Star Wars movie, which was really good. We love Star Wars. So that is it, guys. Um, I am working still on... My last project for the James Burr Christmas tree thing. I will show you this when it's finished. It's in the works right now. And I also, to finish this off, I need to put some metallics on it. I am no longer on the No Spend 2020, yay. Uh, but I really haven't gone out and bought a whole bunch. I think I will go to Tuesday morning on Monday because um, I have a little bit of time and I've been watching Linda LP Red Flowers videos and she's been getting some great stuff so I'd really like to go. But I did go to the Dollar Tree to get this, this LA Colors eyeshadow in white. It is shimmering loose powder. I had wanted to get this and I actually had this in my cart in like September or October, and then I remember, well wait, I'm not buying this as eyeshadow. What I wanna do is mix it with some of my Vicky Bhutan watercolors to see if I can't make them shimmer, and I'm going to try that and then put it on this card, and I'll let you know if that works, but I had to actually put it back then because um, I couldn't buy it because of the no, no purchase thing, but uh, I did go and get it. I'm excited to try it, and I'll let you know if that works. So I I'm glad that um, I got finished with my, t my December daily. I usually try to keep up with it and get it done as soon as possible because I am someone who can get bored very easily and I also forget. So if I put it aside, it would probably never get finished. But um, thank you for all my subscribers who sent stuff for my challenge and all my YouTube friends who just sent me happy mail for Christmas that I put some of your things in here. It's awesome that uh, I have all your things in here. Um, it'll help me uh, remember you when I flip through this. And thank you for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell button so you'll be noticed, uh, notified whenever I upload a video. And um, I hope this year to be doing a lot more uh, mixed media and art, uh, as well as more making um, uh, and haul videos. So guys, thank you again so much for watching, and until the next video, I hope you are truly blessed. Bye-bye.